Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful Monday. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, look at the sun. Hand out of the eyes there. Wow. That's pretty, isn't it? Oh, yes. So we're going to go for a lovely walk today. And this video is about how I love how everybody's different. One of my favourite memories I'm going to share with you here about a debate, discussion, argument, I guess you could say. <laughs> Started as a chat uh, with uh, Skitson when he was about, I think about six, five or six. And he's here with a couple other kids, same age as him. <laughs> and we decided to go for a walk along the wall just to check it out, see if we thought there'd be any fish around. Uh, as I was walking along here, Looking out across the water, all three of them. And one of them said, oh, look at how blue that water is. And one of them said, I think the water's green. <laughs> and then the other one said, just going to turn to the side because we've got someone coming past. Hey, how, you how you going? I still want to get you on video, brother. Right, mate? Have a beautiful day. Hope you catch some fish. 100%. Beautiful day. So the person going past on a bike, I just didn't want to catch him too much. So, so yeah, as we're walking along here, <laughs> the debate was that the water on the, the side here and over there. One was saying it was blue. One was saying it was green. And the other one was saying it's blue-green. <laughs> so, quite funny. Quite funny. Keep that camera nice and clear. So what I thought I'd do is I'd go for a walk until I said the debate was over, was finished. <laughs> and they'd discussed the colours of the water enough, <laughs> trying to make the other one agree with them, <laughs> trying to convince each other that the colour of the water, they were correct and the other two were wrong. <laughs> did start off very friendly at first and just a little chat and as we got further and further along the wall like we're walking now the debate got more and more you're wrong <laughs> until until up here at the bridge where um, I said to them okay that's enough <laughs> you can think it's blue you can think it's green and you can think it's blue green. No, I won't get you on camera. How's it going? Oh, you might not want to be on YouTube, eh? <laughs> oh, I don't really. really? Yeah, mad. YouTube pixels, boys. 100%. Cut some fish. Isn't that pretty out there? See how confident I am just to tell everyone about our channel? No worries at all. Oh, it's so pretty out there, isn't it? And if you look, you can, I guess, see how they could get variations of colours, even today. Bits of blue, there's bits of green, and there's bits of blue-green, huh? Morning. Good morning. Have a lovely day. Good morning. So you can see how they had that argument with the water, can't you? Just turning the camera on each side, making sure we don't get people as they go past. Good morning. Good morning. That's a lovely day here. I love how the water's reflecting. We'll just go down and cross this side like that. Look at that. Beautiful. So I thought I'd just walk until where the discussion finished. See a big log floating out there in the river. I wonder if you can see that just there. It's quite a big, big log floating down the river. I did say the other day that um, swimming in there is quite dangerous, which it is. <laughs> Hang in there. Uh, pretty dangerous stuff. Uh, but it's not just because of the sharks. Very, very strong currents. So and we'll go up this little bridge here to demonstrate that. And there are ways that people have done it safely. I know there are. And when I was a kid, and um, a type of fishing which is illegal now, um, they used to do when I was a kid up here at the gantry. And I uh, used to jag the fish. And a snorkel used to go under the water. And watch when the schools went through and signal to all the fishermen to 
reef up the hooks, which had no bait on them. See if they can try and hook something. This is quite a good fishing spot sometimes. Uh, a lot further up though is a lot better. Right up, right up there is really, really, really good. And if you're a big brim, uh, I mean, you can catch fish all in here, of course you can. Uh, at certain seasons, there's spots up here where you, you can come and bag out on the brim in like a, about an hour, hour and a half if you want. You come at the right tide, know what you're doing. Uh, lots of good bait for brim. Oops, clear that camera. Hey, that doesn't clear up, there we go. Uh, yeah, so we're doing the walk. I guess this will show you how long the debate went on. I'll show you where the debate stopped. Uh, when the adjudicator, me, said the debate was over. <laughs> I was like, that's enough. You won't convince anybody of the colour that you see. Isn't it amazing how everyone sees things differently? I love that. I really do. Uh, cool quote off a video, a movie that I liked. Was then uh, one of the characters said, what does that peach taste like? And the lady said, you don't know what a peach tastes like? And he said, I don't know what a peach tastes like to you. I love it. So beautiful. So beautiful. And that is so true for everybody. I know what a flower looks like for me, but other people look at things differently. Everyone looks at things differently, don't they? beautiful thing about life. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Definitely some visitors there to Australia. 100%. 100%. Yeah, that's where I guess one of my favourite sayings comes. Can't love people in slices. Some people are colour blind. Some people love colours. Some people have colours I guess they don't like. Some people write poetry about colours. Some people just look at them. Some people talk at them. Some people paint them. Some colours to people make them happy or sad. And incredible how just colours can affect everybody so differently. Love it. Absolutely love it. So this is my morning walk. Good morning, everyone. What a beautiful day. Look at that sun. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Beautiful. How it comes across the water there. A lot of water, obviously, through here. Uh, it is good fishing in the right times of year. Right tides, right bait. Uh, bait varies a lot depending on the time of year. Better off using the bait, really, that's around in the area and um, is coming in the area most of the time, most of the time. Some really oily baits can work um, anywhere, really any time. This is a fish really attracted to the oils in the fish and they can smell it. Uh, as an example though, in mullet season, it's good to use a mullet. Uh, when the bonito and the slimy mackerel are running, it's good to use them too, things like that. Uh, yes, when the yabbies or the nippers are prolific, fish like them on the areas that they come. We're about to have a look at how fast that current's going. Uh, look at that. Wouldn't want to go swimming in there, huh? No way. How are you, brother? I'm awesome. I wouldn't go want to go swimming in there, people. No way. But when I was a kid, like I said, and jagging was legal. There used to be a whole heap of fishermen, they'd stand along the bridge here, and snorkelers, can you believe that? Would go in there, and they'd raise their hand here from the corner, and tell all the pros when to lift up their hooks and jag the fish. But you'd have to be a pretty good swimmer to go swimming in there. And I do know people that have done it, mainly when it's going this way, and out to the ocean. The sandbar is that sandbar is not there. Been there for a while now. So this is actually how far the discussion went with the three kids <laughs> on the colour of the water. Cool, huh? Might even just go a little bit further. I'm enjoying my walk. Hope everyone else is too. Hope you're having a nice morning if you're awake. If you're a 
coffee person. Have a cup of coffee. Enjoy the walk. Oh, we've got a fish on. Is it a jag, is it? Got a big rock. There's lots of rocks there. Lots of rocks. That colour of that. Oh, get the finger off there. Colour of the water too. I've got to wait a couple of weeks to um, eat some oysters. I'm going to go along a little bit further because I just want to show how we've got all that water coming out there. You can see that. And that pours out there. There's actually a big hole over there where it pulls into. The dewfish hang around and things like that sometimes. And then we've got a deep pool here, right along this edge here. I'm just going to turn the camera around for a second because we have a, a lady fishing there. We don't want to get her on film. Morning. Morning. How are you this morning? Okay. That's the way. Lovely smile. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you catching anything? Um, they have been. They've been oh, one of them's up to six and one's up to yeah, cool. That's only awesome. Throw back. Pardon? Only ones to throw back. Only ones. Oh, but that's all right. It's fun. Yeah, bring this side. Yeah, nice. They're not the tiddlers. That's good fun. Yeah, that's right. It is. That's good fun. Good fun. So you can. So the, the lady here just said that they're catching a few little fish around here, and you can see this big deep hole here right in the middle. And funnily enough, the people up here are fishing in a perfect spot. I don't know if they know that or not. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> it's a perfect spot because that big sandbank there, you can see, swings right out to the middle of the river. And on the other side of this sandbank here is a hole where uh, lots of fish do hang. So once again, we've got another fisherman there. So we're going to come on this side of the wall. And I'll walk along that before we get past there. Making sure we don't get anybody on camera. walk past there like that there we go so we've actually got that sandbank there going out and then you've got a really big hole here and I've actually fished in that hole before and been towed along in my canoe by a flathead big flathead do go in that because there's also a sandbank that sandbank goes there and then comes right across the middle of the river all the way around there like that and that's actually a really big hole in there. So the flathead and the fish come across the sandbank and the babies. And when the babies come across here into this deep pool, that's where the big flatty are ready to smash them, all ready to go. And they do it on the other side of the pool too. This is a long good morning walk, isn't it? I love it. Woo! This group gets me all pumped up for a walk. There's no way I'd be doing this if it wasn't for everybody here. Thank you. Wow. I wanted to come up here fishing for a long time. I thought, no way, too much. Oh, look, we just scared off a big fish there. Can you, I wonder if you can see that big pool of dust there. Can you see that? A big pool of dust there. That means a big flatty was sitting right there and went boom. We scared him off right there. Right then. Pretty hard. Huh? Beautiful. Love how the water reflects with the houses over there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Love it. Love it. All right. As I walk up here to another one of my favourite fishing spots while we're here, why not? So this is that big pool where I did actually get towed around on the, on the, it wasn't a kayak actually, it was a canoe, which is even heavier and even deeper. It was a big flatty that uh, towed me around. Had a lot of troubles getting it. <laughs> we eventually got it though. But that really is a very, very deep hole there. And there's a sandbank that goes right around that whole hole there. It's quite amazing. Clear up that camera there, Pixels. Why isn't that clearing up? There we go. What a relaxing walk in the sun. I love it. Ooh. We've got a chair up here ready for us too. Uh, might even be able to, I will be able to show you where that sandbank starts again and loops around, around this big deep hole. It really is a big deep hole, which makes it difficult to find the big fish in there. But normally there are big fish in there. So if you're patient or they're hungry and you can uh, encourage them to eat, you'll definitely have a chance of catching a big fish. Definitely. Depending on that tide. So as that tide changes, the little fish come over the sandbanks, depending on where they want to sit in that hole, 
And they come over the sandbanks, the little fish, and bang, the big fish are just sitting there waiting. Uh, as the tide goes out, that happens a lot. They really sit there, those big fish, because they know the little fish can hide right up in the shallow water and right up in these rocks and things like that. Right up in here, little fish can hide all through all that. And sometimes the big fish can't get there. But as the water goes out, that's when the little fish have to move out into more dangerous terrain. And bang, that's where the big fish like it. Love it. So pretty. I hope you had a beautiful Easter. I had an amazing day. Amazing day. I really did. Chilling with uh, Skitson, watching him smile all day, get birthday presents, eating some beautiful food, just spending time together, laughing. Oh, there's a big flash in there. I wonder if I can see that on camera as I go next time. That was a big brim flash. 100%. Morning. 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 How are you? Oh, I love the way that reflects over here too. Let's look at that. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yes. So that still is the big hole, really. It is shallowing off a little bit now. Um, the bank does shallow off through here a little bit, but does drop off coming back through there again. And that's quite a drop-off bang there, way, way, way over my head from um, how I used to fish it. But we're just going to go up this beautiful reflection spot here because we'll be able to see it shallow off 100%. Oh. I must admit I haven't done very well sitting here off the wall but when I've been in a canoe or a kayak I've been able to paddle around and vary that hole so you really got to hunt them in that hole you got to try and find them because their big flatties are quite lazy quite often they'll sit and just wait for that fish to come to them and then bang and um, they're voracious feeders. That's why lures work so well with a flathead. And if they're not hungry, they'll have a crack at it. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? How that reflects. Love to how water reflects. And you see extra images on the water. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can't believe I've been able to walk this far. I didn't plan on walking this far, I will admit it. And you can see there's two channels there, one and two channels going there, quite big ones, and the sandbar in the middle. And once again, that creates areas for little fish, for food to gather, which helps these big water areas have other food, which encourages sharks this is a river mouth this is actually a river system it's only one of the only i think it's the only double delta only double delta river system in the southern hemisphere how awesome is that it's pretty cool that's why it's such good fishing it's uh got a double entrance at each end of the river to the ocean which lets lots of food in, and yep, lots of sharks, 100%, 100%. People don't get attacked this very, very much though. I think we've only had one that I, or two that I know of. Um, yeah. So if you're careful, you're usually okay. You've really got to um, maybe ask a local. If you're visiting, where's a safe spot to go swimming? That's probably a good thing for people to remember. When they go anywhere and they don't know where they're going. Oh, I know a lot about fishing and things like that, but if I go somewhere I don't know, I definitely go to the bait shop. That's my first point. I don't go down there and go, I know all about fishing. I'm fantastic. <laughs> I know a lot about this area, but if I go on holidays and I want to go fishing, I go to the bait shop and I ask them, Where's the best spots to go fishing? What type of bait should I use? I'm not from here. Can you help me? Uh, and when you go to areas that you don't know for swimming, you should do the same. You should go to a local or surf club. 
just go up there and go, hey, I'm not from here. Can you just tell me some safe areas to go swimming? So I know that that's the best spot. 100%. 100%. Once again, remember the story. It's blue. It's green. It's blue-green. Three eyes, three minds, looking at the same water, seeing it a completely different way. I love it. You can't love people in slices. No way. I hope you have a beautiful day. I will be doing some streaming today, even though it's my day off. But why not? Why not? <laughs> this is Pixels. I hope I put a smile on your face for your morning wake up. Over and